Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna take yet another look at a new product in the Unify Protect lineup, and one that enhances your non-AI Ubiquiti cameras or third-party cameras to have AI functionality. The AI port has two ethernet ports built in. One is PoE in and the other is PoE out. It includes an SD card slot for high availability backup and does four trillion operations per second of AI compute. The AI port can be mounted to a wall with the camera directly plugged into it, or you could pair a camera to it. And it also costs $199 USD. For my installation, I'm just gonna have it plugged into my network switch and then we'll pair a camera to it. Ubiquity will also be selling a rack mount for the AI port that could hold up to six AI ports. For power consumption, if the AI port is plugged into PoE+, Plus, the PoE out can be up to 12.95 watts. If it's using PoE++, Plus Plus, it could handle up to 25.5 watts. Now, one of the most asked questions was, can I have more than one camera paired to the AI port? Well, you can't right now, but in a future Protect update, we'll be able to. One thing to note is we cannot pair third-party cameras and Protect cameras to the same AI port. For Unify Protect cameras, we could have up to five cameras. For OnVIF 2K cameras, we could have up to two. And for OnVIF HD, we can have up to three. Now let's jump right into Protect and get this adopted. We're now over on my UMVR Pro and you can see in the right-hand corner, a new device has been detected. AI port detected on Mac Telecom NVR. We could either add it or remind us later. I'm gonna add it into our Unify Protect application. With the AI port now adopted, we could see pair AI port to a non-AI camera or connect it with the camera physically. This first time around, we're just gonna pair it to one of our cameras. Then I do have an OnVIF camera sitting on my side table that we will physically plug into it. I was always hoping that Ubiquity would come out with an AI doorbell. Well, now we really don't need that. We could just pair this to our doorbell pro and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click on pair camera and then in the middle, it's gonna pop up all of our non AI cameras. So we could put it even on our G5 PTZ down at the bottom that says right driveway and we may test that out as well. But what I'm gonna pair it to originally is my G4 Doorbell Pro PoE, and we also have these advanced options. We'd use the advanced options to pair our third-party camera. We're not gonna do that right now, so we'll exit out of that, and then we'll just press save. Now, a couple other things we could see with the AI port, we could see the status, the connection, the model, the device version, the MAC address, the IP address, and then the uptime. One thing that we won't see right now is the SD card support, because it's not supported right at launch, but that will be coming in a future update. The only other settings we have, we could rename the AI port, we could manage it, so we could do the locate, restart, or we could do the remove from our protect application. But to get these features going onto our doorbell, if I slide down a little bit, you'll see beside the doorbell pro, we have this new AI icon. So clicking on the doorbell pro, if we go over to our recording settings and then scroll down, we could see our video detections. Within the video detections, it now says that we have face and we have license plate. License plates aren't really going to do us that good on my front doorbell, so I'm going to check that one off. But we are going to have our face, and I'm going to go outside and then test that, and we'll watch the clip. Now, I walked in front of my G4 Doorbell Pro, and we could see that the face has been detected in a couple of these clips. Let's click on this clip and watch it. You'd see me coming up to the door and then it should start recognizing my face like it does there as I get closer to the doorbell. And this works pretty good as of right now. I haven't been able to do a whole ton of testing with the AI port, but it has been working well for the time that I've had it. I will follow up with a more in-depth video. Before we test this with the third party camera, let's assign the AI port to the G5 PTZ. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the AI port and we're gonna go over to manage. From manage, I'm just going to select my right driveway, which is my G5 PTZ, and then we'll press save. Now over on the G5 PTZ, it has that AI icon beside it, and we need to go again and make sure that our face detection is on, which it is in the license plate. So I'll go ahead, I'll walk in front of the G5 PTZ. Here's the video footage from the G5 PTZ with the AI port assigned to it. We had see that it's picking up cars. I did turn off the license plate to not show in this video, but it did pick it up and it was accurate. So let's play the video. You'd see me walking up. It is a little blurry, but it is still picking up my face and then it will start moving over and tracking me. The one good thing about the G5 PTZ, it has that colored night vision. So hopefully during the nighttime, 
it will pick people's faces up more clearly. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in that third party camera directly into the AI port, and we're gonna take a look at that. Now with my third party camera connected to the AI port, one thing that you need to make sure is enabled over on your third party camera is under our recording settings, this check mark is off, create AI events. Originally, it wasn't checked off for me. I had to check it on and then put the video detections that I wanted. So over on the screenshot here, you can see that it says Cody. And then if I click on it, it will start playing the video. I'm pretty close to the camera. So that's why it's detecting my face so easy, but it's really nice that this works with third party cameras. And that's gonna be my video on the AI port. My initial thoughts is I really do like it. Having the ability to add AI features to a non AI camera is great. Also the ability to add edge recording in case something happens to our MBR is a huge selling feature and I hope they add the SD card storage to cameras moving forward. I can't wait for future firmware updates from Unify Protect for the AI port that's gonna allow us to assign more than one camera to it. If you have any questions about the AI port, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.